Hello, Zephyr's community, and welcome back to No More Tanks Constable. So, in this video, I'm going to be driving the T110E5, which is a tier 10 American heavy tank. Now, there's nothing really special about this tank, it's pretty much an all rounder. It has pretty decent mobility, it has a pretty good gun, it has quite decently good armor. But when you use these in the way it's supposed to be used, like, for example, here's one of the weaknesses, which is the cupola. It's on the left side of the tank, which you can definitely use that to your advantage. You can get it into a corner and peek around. That hides your cupola, which I'm about to use right here. Also, other than the cupola, your turret is pretty much impenetrable. So you can use your 8 degrees of gun depression to rip apart enemies with your 2,728 DPM, doing 400 damage per shot, which is pretty nice with a penetration of 258, 340, and 340. So yeah, the T110E5 is a really nasty tank. It also has a boat shape, so you can also side scrape and beat people in shooting your side. Now, but if you get into these pers perfect position of getting hold down and just letting your gun work and just wiggling back and forth like I am and hiding your cupola there's pretty much nothing the en enemy tank can enemy team can do unless they are have artillery or start firing high explosive at you there's pretty much nothing they can do also if you end up liking this video share subscribing because it's free and it helps out the channel a ton so, let's go over the equipment and crew skills I have on this tank. My equipment is the Advanced Loader, Gun Stabilizer, Power Train, and the Enhanced Target Info. My skills are Born Leader, Rapid Loading, Six Sense, Steady Ring, Off-Road Driving, Armor Angling, Solid Driving, Clutch Breaking, and Last Stand. So yeah. And this is basically like the perfect position for this E5, like, perfect. Fighting people when they're coming uphill, I'm hiding my lower plate, I'm really hiding my cupola, because I am side scra- uh, poking around, and keep my cupola behind the left side of the hill, and it's working. It's working really nicely. Uh, the only kind of damages I've took is, like, tanks that are pushed up far enough to shoot my lower play or any tank that really just shot high explosive at my turret. So yeah, so far we've bounced 4,080 damage and dealt 4,111 damage. Well, 4,502 now. I've loaded heat rounds so I can take down this E100 quickly because the enemy team is starting to get very, very brave. And I need to take down this E100 very quickly. Also, our team is still losing. And as you can see, the E5's armor is just working massively when you actually use it to perfection. Um, also, heat rounds. Premium rounds is heat rounds. So that could be terrible by shooting people in the track, which I did to the 50 TP, which got absorbed into the track. And now you're going to see me struggle against this 50 TP, even though it should as showing me its size. This heat rounds are just going to get absorbed in the side of the tank. So I switched back to AP rounds so I can stop wasting ammunition. Because I am quite decently running out of ammunition. And there's still 11 tanks left. Now I'm going to peek around this corner. Shoot this leopard one. Now also, you only get uh, 42 rounds of ammunition. And when you have a base reload of... 8.8 seconds and you can improve that with rations and rapid loading and advanced lo loader your reload gets quite impressive so yeah and you can shoot through all that ammunition very quickly so I just took a heat round for somebody off in the distance CS-59 came up here and kind of got uh, confident so I put one into him shot a around into the 50 TP cupola, and also the enemy team is capping. And we do manage to kill the T32 that was on the base. I guess it was on the base. It, it, the base got reset. 
and that T32 went down. Now, the object 432 actually pushed up, so it's like, okay, let me help out the object 432. 432 is getting ripped apart now. I just got to find the killing shot on the 50 TP prototype on the 50 TP and it takes him down. Um, trying to find the leopard, fire blind to try to hit him. But I'm going to load high explosive for this rude to actually conserve ammunition because I am getting very, very low on ammunition. Got five heat rounds, one AP, and three high explosive rounds left. And killing shot on the roof so now i'm kind of worried i'm like okay nobody's resetting the space so i gotta go over here and try to reset also i just fired my last remaining ap round and see if i can get a shot on the brass uh brass dies leopard one actually punches right through my armor i think it's firing heat round but i put one straight into the leopard so i push down here because the type five is actually chasing me so my plan here is to kill the leopard as fast as I can. So the type five doesn't kill me. But when I'm about to climb the hill, the type five managed to put a shot into me. So that was a really, really good match. She had 9,000 damage, but still it was a draw. But I did get MVP of the entire match with 9,000 damage dealt, four kills, 7,000 blocked and just absolutely carried my team like everybody else on the end all my team did nothing anyway that's it for this video remember like comment, subscribe also bring some fish because why not and peace out see ya